Welcome to EdTech Insights, Canvas focused. This is a series of short videos designed to answer some of your most common Canvas questions. I'm Denise Hardiman, Educational Technology Specialist at Temple's Center for the Advancement of Teaching. Today's session will discuss grade calculations in Canvas. This video will explain the difference between a points based grade system and a weighted grade system. We will demonstrate how to set each of them up in Canvas. What is the difference between points-based and weighted grades? In a points-based graded system, each assignment is assigned a specific number of points. The student's final grade is calculated by adding up all of the points they've earned across all of the assignments. Points earned out of points possible. Example, 94 out of 100. Weighted grades. In Canvas, assignment groups are used to organize assignments into categories. In a weighted grade system, all assignments are assigned to a specific assignment group. Example, all tests and quizzes go under exams, all the discussion boards go under discussions, and so forth. The groups are then assigned a percentage of the overall final grade total. All group percentages total up to 100%. Not all groups have the same weight. Some may contribute more significantly to a student's final grade. For example, exams may, may be worth 50% of the final grade, while discussions may be worth 10%. Setting up a total point system in Canvas. In Canvas, when a new course shell is created, it contains one assignment group by default, which is named Assignments. It can be renamed. For a total points based gradebook, all assignments as they are created are added to the assignment group. Each of these assignments are given a point value. As I mentioned previously, the student's final grade is calculated by adding up all the points they've earned across all of the assignments, points earned out of points possible. Setting up weighted grades in Canvas. In Canvas, when a new course shell is created, weighted grading is off by default. Check your syllabus for grading information and create the assignment groups based on what is posted in the syllabus. To create an assignment group, go to the Assignments page. Click the plus group button on the top of the page, add the group name, and click Save. Create the remainder of the groups the same way. As you create assignments, make sure you are adding them to the correct assignment group. To turn on weighted grading, click the three dots next to the plus assignment button and select the assignment group weights. When the pop-up appears, check the box next to weight final grade based on assignment groups to enable weighted grading. Add the weight to each of the groups matching the percentages to what is posted in your syllabus. Make sure the total equals 100% and click Save. What do you see in the gradebook? In a points-based gradebook, the total number of points earned by the student are added together to calculate the final grade. In a weighted grade book, all the graded assignments will have a column that will populate when you grade using SpeedGrader or when you manually add grades to the spreadsheet. Each of the assignment groups will have their own column. You cannot edit or add grades to these manually. They 
automatically calculate based on grades from the individual assignment columns. The total column automatically calculates based on the percentages in the assignment groups. Thank you for joining us. If you need further assistance, please visit the center's website at teaching.temple.edu.